You they wanted they, the lab. They, they, they oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We want the lab. We want the lab. And, um... <laughs> so, I mean, this next part's gonna fucking kind of sound kind of bad. On my part. Would you snitch? Oh, for sure I did, yeah. yeah. I'm not going back to prison. Right. I'm not going back to prison. <laughs> okay? Fuck this fucking... Massive. Listen. Great. Fuck like, these snitch. motherfuckers. Motherfuckers. <laughs> fuck these, these motherfuckers. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's right. my attitude. Right. I'm not going back to prison for these motherfuckers that I don't even know. Right. You know what I mean? So they're like, we want the lab, we want the lab. I'm like, all right. So this dude's the mastermind, I told him. You know what I mean? This dude's the fucking mastermind. I threw Buddy under the bus. I'm sorry, Buddy. <laughs> if you ever watch this, I'm fucking sorry. His name is Buddy? No, his name's not Buddy. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm fucking sorry, dude. I apologize. But I wasn't going back to prison. I apologize. Yeah, my bad. Um, who was the... Who? It wasn't the Secret Service, though, that grabbed you. It was no, the, this was the Miami Financial Crimes Unit. So it hadn't... I was like, is this federal? That's the first thing I asked him. I was like, is this federal? He's like, no, it's not federal. I was like, okay, now I got some wiggle room. Then I knew I had some wiggle room. You know what I mean? Because if it's federal, you're fucking, you're done. They're just going to indict you, and then you can cooperate. And, and you're, you're still going to prison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're no still way. going to prison. Yeah, so if it was federal, you I was going to be like, you know what? Let's go right now. Right. Because it would have done me no good to fucking, to do anything. But it was it was local. So I knew I had some wiggle room. Mm. You know, you can you can, you can can work with them. So I gave him the dude's fucking address. <clears> and then the dude fucking calls me while they're there. All this is happening. This this was just, they just, just the wrong fucking day, dude. Yeah. The wrong day. The dude calls me because we were waiting on the embosser to come in. And I was because the lab was at his house. Because I was like, that's what I told the dude. He was like, dude, I'm not setting all this shit up. I got my fucking probation officer comes over here. Right. right. She's going to come in here and see what, ask me questions about all this equipment. I'm not even supposed to have a fucking laptop. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Fuck. Right. So we had all the shit set up at his house. He calls me while they're there. I had to put it on a fucking speakerphone. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's talking to me. And he's like, you know, did it show up? I'm like, yeah, it's here. He's like, uh, come drop it off now. I'm like, ah, I can't really do that. And they're like, they're both like, <laughs> fuck. I'm like, all right, where you want to meet at? So he's had me meet, meet him at this fucking, uh, I don't remember what it was, like a Publix or something like that. And he's like, oh, we got we to gotta mic you up. We got to mic you up. I'm like, what the fuck are we talking about? Like, Listen, I'm not wearing a wire, man. What the fuck are you guys talking about? You know what I mean? Like, He's like, no, 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 it's not like the movies. You know what I mean? They brought me like a fucking pager. And the pager was like a listening device. It was like a microphone. And I had to fucking wear it in my pocket when I went and dropped the fucking the thing off to him. Yeah. So I drive so I meet the dude at Publix. I dropped the fucking um I dropped this is this whole story is wild. I dropped the fucking I dropped the um the thing off with him. I wear the fucking listening device. Once again, dude, I'm sorry. I wear the fucking <laughs> listening device, you know what I mean? I'm fucking such a piece of shit for this, dude. I, I I'm hundred percent, but I'm not going back to prison. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Fuck that. I'm not going back to prison. Right. Yeah, <laughs> it is what, heard it, is what this. it is, this dude. Is I'm sorry. So, um, yeah, I had to wear the listening device on Buddy and then fucking... Meet at Publix. Meet at Publix. I dropped it off. I met with him. Uh, I drove somewhere, and then one of the one of the two dudes that were there met me there. They followed um, him to his house and then called in fucking reinforcements, and they fucking raided his house and found all the equipment. Everything. Mm. They found all the equipment. So he was like, um, he's like, all right. He's like, you can go. The dude at the thing, he's like, you can go. I was like, all right. He let you walk. He let me walk. But he's like, we'll be in contact with you. And he's like, you know, we have to, we have to report this to your probation officer. We have to. It's by law. We have to. Right. So I was like, well, all right, fuck. I'm on, I'm running. You know what I mean? Because now I got. I got a little while to get to my back to my fucking apartment, pack a bag, and get the fuck out of Dodge. You know, what you're I mean? going to get a probation violation. One thousand percent, I'm going to get a probation violation. Go back to yeah. Prison. yeah. So yeah. even if definitely the state says, even if the state says we won't, okay, we're not going to charge them. I was federal engaging would be in like, illegal activity, which is clearly a fucking yeah. violation of the rules yeah. of my fucking conduct, my probation. You know? Yeah, doesn't matter. Clearly, if they don't want not. me fucking printing credit cards. You know what I mean? Yeah. In my apartment. or attempting or hand they can they can yeah. they're gonna they're gonna violate you for any something like that they're gonna violate you for anything right. yeah anything yeah so I, I take off i go back to my, my 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 little apartment i had um and at this time i we hadn't even started making any money yet at this time like i was still fucking working at the warehouse i still really didn't have shit i mean i had a little bit of money because i was doing um we were making cards so i was going out and doing a little bit of store carding and shit you know what i mean just to have a few yeah. dollars here and there because mm-hmm. i was i was doing bad dude right, i was right. doing fucking bad I went. I went up to the used car lot at the end at the end of the street and got a fucking old uh, 2003 Cadillac fucking uh, 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 DHS or some shit like that. I mean, it was fucked. It wasn't, you know, my former glory. But I was trying to get back to my former glory. You know, what I mean? you ever see that fucking movie Kingpin with um 
You might be a little bit too young for that one. It's oh, got yeah, Woody same. Harrelson in it, and it's got oh, yeah, fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. What you're and he's got, about. he's got, he's got, the, he's got the GTO, and he's young, and he's fucking. You see him like years down the road, and the GTO's all fucked up, and he's bald and shit. Like yeah. that was me trying to make a comeback. I mean, here I am trying to make a come try. I mean, fuck, I got the Cadillac. You know what I mean? I'm starting to break cards again. I'm yeah. doing all right. You know, but then I got we all got fucked up. But at least they gave you the heads up that they're gonna notify your probation officer. Right. So I got I had a little bit of time. So I I go back to my condo, my apartment, and I pack a bag and I call um I call my cousin in in Detroit and I was like, Yo, he's like, uh, I need to come. I need to come home. I need to come up there. And he bought me a plane ticket. And I drove my, I remember I drove my Cadillac to the airport and I just left it at the airport and I hopped on a plane because I had no intention of ever coming back to Florida right. at this point. <clears throat> I mean, I did maybe, but not in the same car, in the same apartment in that, you know. So I left, I left the fucking car at the, at the airport and I flew to Michigan um, and I hung out in Michigan. Let me see. I got out of halfway house and uh, I got a halfway house on my 30th birthday is when I got out of the halfway house. It was February 6th on my 30th birthday. And this was February, so by July I was. This is when everything went down. Was in July. Okay. So it was like five months. Okay. So then I go out to um, I go out to Michigan, and this time I was like, okay, I'm fucked. Obviously, I know I have a probation. I just absconded. Hey, got a high. Yeah, I just absconded from probation, and I'm gonna have the probation violation for <sighs> the the shit I just got popped right. for. Right. You know. So now I'm like, you know, I'm fucked. Pretty much. So I'm in Michigan. I'm fucking partying it up, staying at my cousin's house, just going on a rampage, just drinking. Just and fucking, knowing that it's all coming. Oh out yeah, dude. I'm I'm going out with a bang. You know right. what I mean? <clears throat> and and so I'm partying it up. I'm like, okay, I don't give a fuck if whatever happens happens. And uh, my wife calls me up. She's in Nebraska. She says I'm pregnant. I need you to come out here. I said, all right. You know what I mean? At this time, I'm like, fuck. I can get the fuck. I can go hide in Nebraska. Who the fuck's going to find me in Nebraska? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? There's nothing out there but corn. <laughs> you know, that's it. Yeah. Corn and cattle. Right. That's it. And I'm, fuck, I go hide in Nebraska. In my mind, I'm like, that's the perfect fucking place. I go out yeah. there. You know what I mean? Settle down. I got the wife, got the kids out there. I can fucking hide. And then maybe in a few years, I'll be able to work all this fucking shit out with a lawyer or something. Or maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> so I, 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 go out to, I go out to Nebraska. And that started shit show number two. Because it was just one fucking conundrum after another after I went out. Dude, my, this whole thing with my wife and I went out there and guys are bringing flowers by the house and fucking <laughs> leaving bags of sugar at the fucking door and all kinds, just all kinds what? of fucking weird shit, dude. Like, yeah, it's like, dude, this chick had every dude in this little town we lived in w wanted to fuck her. <laughs> you know what I mean? And they just, every dude in the entire little fucking town and... <laughs> Because they knew where we Small lived. Town. Yeah, we lived, we, you know what I mean? We had nice cars and we lived in the house, and, you know, on the main drag. And, you know, she went to McDonald's every morning for her coffee. And mm -hmm. we both worked at these these small um, uh, um, manufacturing plants right in this little tiny small town in uh, Nebraska. And, um, yeah, I mean, shit went sideways out there real fucking fast. She started, you know, doing meth and fucking around with, you know, scumbags. And here I am. Like, I don't do drugs. You know what I mean? Like, I smoke pot. Which is a drug. <laughs> yeah, you're, so you're apparently like, I'm a drug not, addict and a liar. You're nothing um, like any of these other guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you com know. you're completely normal. Yeah, you know, but like, I'm not doing the hardcore drugs. You right. Know, I'm not, fuck, I've never done heroin. I'm right, not, right, I'm right. not smoking crack. <clears throat> I'm not fucking, right. I'm not doing none of that shit. You know, I'm a fucking, I'm a stoner. I don't even really drink that much. Mm -hmm. You know, I barely ever drink. So, you know, shit goes sideways out there, dude. She, the, so the baby's born with meth in its system. Mm. Bomb, they take our kids <sighs> away. They take our kids away. Fuck. I got a warrant out for my arrest. I'm laying in a hospital bed with her. Here come two fucking cops into the fucking hospital room. F wanting to lock her up and me up for drugs and, and this whole fucking thing. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And I didn't even know she was doing meth. Like, I had no idea she was doing meth while she was fucking pregnant. Oh my because I had to go God, and work at the fucking... Bro. I was working, yeah. Yeah, it was fucking all bad. Yeah, fucking piece of shit. So that happened, and then our kids got taken away. Um, find out the little girl, not mine. Not even yours. I knew right away when the baby was born she wasn't mine. That right. it was the other dude that she had living at her fucking mom and dad's house with her after I got out of the house. You knew right when the baby was born? Yeah, I knew right away. How? Sorry. Yeah, I knew right away. How'd you know right oh, away? Oh, I looked at her. I looked at really? her. Really? You know, I looked for sure 1,000% because I knew what the kid looked like. Mm -hmm. All right? And this, this little girl looks just like that fucking kid. Mm. I mean, it's his, 1,000%. I mean, even the dates don't match up. 
Cause when she when she was when she had the baby and when I was like I was wait a minute I was in the halfway house and we had and I remember I was like we had sex this day and this Were day. Were you doing the math? You're like I'm doing the math. I'm like this shit just doesn't fucking jive, dude. This and you know what I mean. But here I am my, trying to give her the benefit of the doubt. Or well, you know we had we had already had my son together and I knew he's mine for sure. <clears throat> and you know I still love her and even to this day I still love her. I still love her to death and we're still married. Even though I haven't talked to her in months and we've been separated for four years, I haven't mm-hmm. seen her in four years. And um, since Nebraska. So this, this whole thing went down in Nebraska and, you know, our kids get taken away. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and I have a warrant out for my arrest. Mm-hmm. Because I just took off from after all this shit just happened down here in, in Florida. Let me get some water. Shit's getting wild. I'm parched. Yeah, now I'm... I'm Because, <laughs> yeah, keep in mind, by this point, I'm I'm done with the with the book. Right. <laughs> The book's well, been written. Well, yeah, we're in book number two now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> books. Yeah, like I said, this whole this whole whole other situation, and um, mm. yeah. So you know, the cops they get involved, and I got a warrant out for my arrest. So I'm like, fuck, dude, what the fuck? You know what I mean? I'm in my head. I'm like, dude, this bitch just fucked me. You know what I mean? Like I came out here to fucking chill, and you fucked me because you're an idiot. You know what I mean? So. The fucking police get involved, and, you know, sure enough, they finally figure out who I am, and they mm-hmm. run my name, and they came to the house to get me one morning, and <clears throat> this is the whole thing. Let me tell you this story. So, okay, so these, these cops show up. The gummies wore off. Yeah, now it's say, all coming to them. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Pulling teeth before. It's like, yeah, no. Nah, nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, so, so I'm working. I'm working at this little machine shop um, next door to the house in, in, this, in, in this small town in Nebraska, mm-hmm. and I'm over there at work, and I see two, I t- see two sheriff's uh, cars roll up to my house. And I already knew what time it was. So I called my wife, and I, and I was right next door. I'm like, like, the police were outside. I'm going to jail. She's like, what, where? I'm like, they're outside the house. She's like, okay, just stay over there. And I was like, listen, if they know where I live, they know where I work. <clears throat> you know what I mean? He lives here. He works there. It's not very fucking hard. Mm-hmm. So I remember what happened. I think they left. She told them I wasn't there, and they left. And then they drove around the back of the shop. And then so I leave the front door of the shop, and I walk into the house, and I'm fucking hiding inside the house. And, like, the, the cops are, like, surrounding the house now. Now they know I have a warrant out for my arrest. They know who I am. They're there to fucking take me to jail. They got the whole fucking house surrounded, dude. They're beating on the door. They got flashlights in the windows. My wife's not. My wife's out there just arguing with them on the front lawn. Like, he's not here. My wife, my wife, bless her heart, she's five foot even, 120 pounds, and she's Cuban. And her English isn't, you know what I mean? Not, not like ours. You can tell she's not a native. You know what I mean? So she's out there arguing with them. They finally come in the house. They finally find me in the basement. I'm inside of a cabinet. <clears throat> I'm hiding inside of a fucking cabinet inside of the basement. I can hear them all walking around the house for like an hour searching for me. I'm not wow. coming out. I'm not coming out, motherfuckers. You guys are going to have to come down here and find me. Hide and seek, motherfuckers. You know what I mean? You're it. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? So I'm in the basement. I'm inside of a cabinet. And I'm, I'm small, so I can curl up in a ball. And they pull open the cabinet door, and he shines a light in there. And I just stay still. And he closes the cabinet. And he was like, and they were going to walk away. And then I heard, I heard, I heard the footsteps stop. And then I heard somebody say something real low. Oh, yeah, he saw you. Yeah, I heard him say something real low. And then they fucking yank open the cabinet. They got the tasers on me. They got two of them with tasers on me. And I'm like, fuck. And they're like, come out your hands up. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to crawl out of this fucking cabinet, dude. And he just grabs my arm. They yank me out of the fucking cabinet. Dude, I come outside. <laughs> I'm getting arrested. My wife is fighting the police. She's physically fighting the police in the mm, front yard. God bless her. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> like, all right. She's going ham for me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. she's fucking going ham. She's yeah. screaming. She's fighting the police. She gets arrested. They arrest us both right there. Take us both to jail. Yeah. Our kids were already taken away. They were in, like, a fucking foster care or whatever like that. We both go to jail. Uh, yeah, so this was November <clears throat> of 2015. Is when I started this little journey. Is when I when I got arrested and, and we both went to jail and everything. I didn't get to South Carolina because I had to go back and see my judge in South Carolina because that's where my warrant was out of. I had a federal warrant out of the Southern District of Southern Carolina, North Northern District of Southern Carolina. 